Hello, Skater Nation. Just kind of give you guys an update on what's going on with the old girl here. Uh, about four years ago, we had the fuel tanks updated where they were ethanol compatible. And uh, everything was perfect. What we did not realize is that uh, after we changed all the fuel lines and everything, the injectors and everything in the engine compartment, what we forgot, and this will be very helpful to any of you in the future that may make this conversion, we actually forgot to change the rubber hose that goes from the fill neck to the tank and then the vent line that comes out of the tank that allows the, the fuel tank to breathe. Well, what happened was the E85 ate the inside of that rubber hose out and when we went to Lake of the Ozarks last year, we had filled both tanks up completely full. Well, on the trip up there, it was sloshing around, got up against the hose, ate the inside of the hose the way, deteriorated, and fuel leaked out on top of the fuel tank. We never found the fuel. What happened was two weeks after we got back from Lake of the Ozarks, I started noticing that the side of the boat had some uh, bad spots in the paint. So we started investigating and found out that what had happened was that fuel ran out of the fill hose, the fill neck, laid on top of the fuel tank and got against the gunnel. Well, the gunnel wasn't treated because that wasn't part of the fuel tank. So that area of the boat that wasn't treated, it damaged the wood. So we're having to take the boat apart. We've got to send it over to Gulf Coast Complete Marine down in uh, Kima, Texas. David's going to cut out the bad wood. He's going to replace all of that. And the, I guess the bad part is that with this House of Colors neon orange, you can't match the, the color of orange. So we've got to repaint the whole boat to make that happen. So just to kind of give you guys an update on uh, what's going on with the old girl and where we're at and what's going on here. Uh, taking the boat apart to repaint it. But it was off season, it was time to do a freshen up, so we pull the engines out. We've got those sent off to Sterling. We're gonna do a complete freshen up. It may be a little tweak on the horsepower. Uh, gonna make a few little adjustments to boost and maybe RPM, uh, maybe change a pulley or two. Got that going on. Uh, we got the drives, they're uh, ready to go. Sending them over to Cust uh, Wilson Custom Marine over in Florida, and they're gonna uh, blueprint those and Hopefully we'll be able to lay down some good numbers for you guys next year. Hope to see you. Take care.